Hey guys, how you doing? Jamin Jackson here. One of my favorite things to do is swing dance. You know it. Um, I travel all over the world doing it. But my second favorite thing to do is watch good swing dancing. That's like the only other thing. Well, here's the order of life. Music, food, dancing, sleep, then everything else, depending on how I'm feeling. But swing dancing's up there, guys. And I love watching good swing dancing and, and just seeing if I can produce that feeling I get when I do swing dance, which is chicken skin. You know, when your, your skin starts to swell up a little bit. So I'm gonna watch uh, this video by the Jazz Messengers. Jazz Messengers. Now, I know two of these dancers personally. I danced with uh, one of them. She's in the, I believe it's the golden shirt here from this uh, screen, uh, this uh, thumbnail. That's the word I'm looking for. Her name is Sonia Ortega Betriu. She's one of the most famous dancers in Spain and actually one of my favorite dancers to, to watch right now. Um, but she's also got a really nice spark in my heart because we got a chance to work together whenever I would tour in Europe. So she is phenomenal. Her partner, Hector Artel. This is my boy. See, in America, we say things like my boy, and it doesn't mean literally my boy, but it means someone who I appreciate greatly for their dancing. I love him so much. And many of you all don't know, he's actually really tall. So when you see him dancing, he's one of those kind of dancers where it's like, wow, he's a big guy dancing like that? Whoo! And then Claudia, I got a chance to meet her for the first time. Uh, I was in Spain uh, months ago, got a chance to meet her. And even like many of you beginner dancers, you get nervous to dance with a really good dancer. Even I get the fanboyism nervousness, uh, those nervous ticks when I see a really good dancer and I, you know, obviously I had to ask her to dance and I was nervous, but altogether she's phenomenal, phenomenal. So let's see what happens. I'm going to watch this video. I know whatever they do is good. I'm already getting excited. See chicken skin already. And I haven't even watched the video. So let's see what happens. We're going to, we're going to turn this baby on and let's see how I feel. All right. Better be good. Let's see. Oh, we got to start from the top. Oh, transition. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. Details. Oh, the transition, guys. Get it, Sonia. Oh, we get in the back. Oh, they're killing me with these transitions. <laughs> oh, no, that's amazing. Oh, the silence. Oh, that transition, guys. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, man. Wow. 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 
Wow. There's so many, oh man. <sighs> Guys, there are, so you have routines, right? You have routines that the obligatory routines, you have to have those cues that everybody can scream to and rah-rah to. Um, you also have to have those uh, basic fundamental jazz movements that everybody can say, yeah, that's a, that's a vernacular jazz step. I know that. But then you got to have those moments of ingenuity that say, here's how we're going to do it. And you're going to like it. We promise or hope in most cases. But this one, this, this is very special, guys. A lot of routines, you watch it, and it's like, yes, 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 and then you, you kind of forget it. But this one is flashy, but it's subtle at the same time. It's not, just, it's not just a bunch of moves like just thrown together, but I was, in fact, more, more blown away by the silence of the movements or the simplicity of the movements placed in the correct spot to make me actually hear the music and see it happening at the same time. I think that's like... That's like where the professionals are at, you know, compared to like the amateurs. But at the same time, they used a lot of silence. There were like two spots, I think the ending, and there was a spot in the middle after Hector's transition. He goes, does his little solo towards the front, and then he moves back. And I think Claudia comes out for hers, but Hector and Sonia were just like, cops are coming. Don't move. <laughs> that was the dopest part of the routine to me. Stuff like that, where it's like, hey, we're going to use silence to highlight all the movement we did before. Guys, that's that was good. That That's probably, I'm going to watch that a few more times uh, just to really appreciate it. I mean, but it hits, it hits me hard when the first time I watch it, I notice those details. That means that Number one, they're disciplined, but number two, they thought it through. This wasn't just like thrown together, but you can tell they really like doing this routine. And hats off to you guys. More power to you. Keep doing the same stuff, uh, raising the level of the artistry. I love it. Ah, oh, I still got chicken skin. So um, with that said, man, Jazz Messengers, you guys check them out. If you, I don't know if they're teaching any workshops coming up, but... Um, I would definitely take their class as a professional uh, just to keep myself inspired. So if you if you need inspiration and you don't know how to even dance, how to Lindy Hop, take some of my free courses there. Just click the button below. I got about 30-something courses. You can kind of check out Lindy Hop, see if it's something you want to do. But I'm telling you, you are missing out. It is not as cheesy as it looks sometimes when you have people who are not at the level of these kind of dancers. So don't let those people keep you from the promised land. I will see you guys next time. Oh.